Hey everybody. So we just wanted to share a little video with you about ourselves and about what we're doing. Uh, help you get to know us a little bit as we're going to be posting several videos from here on out about the things we're doing and the adventures we're on. Um, my name is Burke Grigby and this is Natalie, my wife. We have been married 25 years this year and that kind of brings us to what we're doing anyway for the just to give you some information we are starting the Camino de Santiago tomorrow and that is a 500 plus mile hike across Spain that uh, we've wanted to do for some time and we decided for our 25th year anniversary we would do it and so we've been getting ready for that and tomorrow's the day we take our first steps down the trail Hey, here we are, night before the big day. What have you got in there? Just a brief overview. Two pairs of socks, two t-shirts, one sun shirt, some underwear, toiletries, and this is the heavy stuff. So, the drone. The drone. Battery pack, soap and stick and charger cords, and Let's then see. rain jacket, and I'm gonna wear to France, some pants and shirt, obviously. Sweet. Take to go naked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Over here I did the same thing, got two pants, two shirts, a swimsuit for when we finish in Finisterre. Um, got my long sleeve shirt, my rain jacket, I am bringing sandals to walk in when I, my feet need a break. Water bottle, uh, the essentials. Yes, it took me forever to narrow it down to this, which I know may seem like a lot, but this is my lifeline out there. And I would not leave home without my pillow. So I actually do have a travel pillow I am bringing. And we are super excited, ready to roll. Red Eye flight to London, a little hop over to Paris, a little okay. hop over to Biarritz, and then the only way out of there is to walk 500 and some odd miles. So We're so excited. Yep. The journey's beginning. sitting in St. Jean-Pierre de Port in uh, France tonight and getting ready to cross over into Spain tomorrow. So it's a beautiful little town, by the way. I was blown away because we've watched some videos of people that have done this hike through Spain and they really don't talk much about this town. So when I got here and saw how beautiful it was, uh, we made sure to take a lot of footage because I am in love with this little town. I think it's beautiful. Yeah, it's definitely vintage French Basque country uh, area. So we, uh, I mentioned we've been married 25 years. We have four kids and they are pretty much grown out doing their own things in the world. So it gives us some freedom that along with what we do for a living, which is network marketing. It allows us to go and do some things that we, we really wanted to do for some time. So that's been interesting also as as we've been walking around and seeing a lot of the people that are going to be hiking the trail there's not a lot of young people it's uh retired people a lot of them um and i just thought it was so cool that we're able to do this in our 40s yeah, instead of so, having to wait till our 60s i don't know how young we feel sometimes but <laughs> we're not super we're, young we're but, younger you know, than most that are here so, yeah of mind. absolutely um so our plan is to video this trip and to share with you the ins and outs of it, what it takes to do it, what it's like on the trail, what the the landscape is like, the people, uh, just everything about doing this uh, pilgrimage. And it is a, it's becoming a very popular 
kind of a bucket list item for a lot of people. So it's getting busier and busier every year. They say over 300,000 people a year do this. And a lot of people assume that you come and do it with a tour group and you can do that, but most people just come on their own and find their own way. And that's what's special about it is you do it in your own way and you find what you need along the way. So, so I know a lot of you might be saying, what is Camino de Santiago? Tell us a little bit about what this is. Well, it translates into the way of St. James. And St. James was an apostle of Jesus Christ, who was the first one to be martyred, right? Yes. They said be possibly because of his fiery uh, personality. Probably got him into some trouble. Got him into some so, trouble. Good for him. But anyway, when once he passed away, his body was brought clear over to Spain. And as legend has it, he's buried in Santiago de Compostela. So people would make that pilgrimage over the past centuries to his burial place to uh, purge themselves of their sins, to find redemption, find repentance, and apparently making that trek would would help them do that. So yes, St. James was the one to bring the gospel of Jesus Christ to Spain. So a lot of people have uh, a special place in their heart here for him. So. So that's why many people do it, but mostly it's nowadays it's done as a, uh, it can be a, still a spiritual pil pilgrimage for people. It can be for uh, health reasons. People want to get in shape or people want to uh, have a renewal of their, either their body, mind, or their spirit, any of those, which is really what wellness is all about. So anyway, people do it for lots of reasons, but if you Google it, Camino de Santiago, you'll find all the information you could ever want on it. Yes. But we're here to share that experience with you because it's kind of an epic journey. Yeah, we're excited about it. I loved that it was a challenge of the body, mind, and spirit. I love that it was something unique to do for our 25th year. It's not just going to the beach and, and relaxing. I've actually come to find that I feel more fulfilled and I feel happier and more joy when I'm constantly progressing and constantly challenging myself. I think there's this uh, big hype around self-care out, especially with women, and you're, you're constantly told, let's pull back and let's do less. And what I have found is when you pull back and do less and are more complacent, that's when you start feeling depressed and down. It's when you're moving yourself towards your divine potential that you feel more joy and more happiness. So to me, this was a good challenge, um, a place for me to, to progress. Absolutely. In several ways. In several so ways. Hopefully you'll still want to be married to me <laughs> when we get done. But, of course. So that's just a little intro to who we are. We'll share footage along the way of the things that we come across. And uh, we're new to this whole YouTube thing and video making thing and quite frankly we know we're not very good at it I don't know how many times we've pushed record and delete so <laughs> and but, I get uh, squirrel I get off one subject yeah, we'll start going down this path it. so this could be a train wreck but this is us but it's one of those train wrecks you just can't take your eyes off of yeah. so we're gonna do the Camino <laughs> Santiago this year and then we have kind of a bigger more epic adventure coming next year where we're going to buy a sailboat and sail hopefully across the Pacific. sail across the Pacific to the French Polynesian Islands and over to Australia. So anyway, that's a whole nother adventure, but uh, join us and uh, we'll take you along where we go. So looking forward to it. Buen Thanks. Camino. Buen Camino. Here's the button.